Breaking news. It is not surprising to see the governor elect of Anambra State, I mean, Chasoludo, now begging, you know, IPOP, ESN, to work with him. Well, we will see the full gist in the news. According to the news, the newly sworn in governor of Anambra State. Charles Soludo urged IPOP and Eastern Security Network, the ESN, to work with his administration in tackling insecurity in the state. Soludo made this remark while delivering his inaugural speech in Aqua, the state capital. While speaking, he said, It's time to interrogate the purpose of IPOP and ESN. The politicians using it as a means must come out of a consensus regarding our future. Soludo challenged the group denying the killings to come out and work with its administration to ensure peace and security in the state. Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, has stated that relevant authorities are processing Abakiari's extradition. While speaking yesterday in Abuja, he advised the media to stop creating friction about the issue by getting a grip of the fact to avoid creating confusion. The Director General of the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, FRCN, Dr. Mansour Lima, has announced they will ensure free and fair general elections in 2023. He made this remark during the 10th anniversary celebration of Prime 105.1 FM on the Mount Party. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction to this main development? We would like you to share those with us on this that has been said. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. We've just had you know, a two-in-one news talking about Abakiri's extradition process that is ongoing and about to this headline of which is Governor-elect of Anambra State, Charles Soludo, who is now pleading with IPOP and ASN to work with his administration in order to curb the issue of insecurity. Don't forget that IPOB and Eastern Security Network has been accused and have been blamed. You know, they have been accused of being guilty of some of the killings and other, you know, situations that has been happening in some of the Southeast states. But despite all this, Chasolo those believe that IPOB and Eastern Security Network are helping Southeast in order to tackle insecurity and also has pleaded for them to work in hands with him in order to be able to have a stronger hold against insecurity in Southeast states. What is your thought to this? Do you think it is a nice move to see the Anambra governor-elect, Charles Soludo? begging IPOP and the Eastern Security Network, saying that, work with me, that is what has been said. We would like you to let us know your thoughts to this. We would like you to share your own reaction. Don't forget that Solo the challenge the group denying the killings to come out and work with his administration to ensure peace and security in the state. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. As it stands now, even Aisha Yusufu you know, has spoken out saying that if Chasoludo can perform well as the governor of Anambra State, is she is ready, pardon, to support him in his presidential bid. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. We would like to share it with us via the comment section. Don't forget that Abakiri's case is also in hands and we hope that everything we brought back to normal but because presently now issues are surrounding nigeria well we would like you to let us know your thoughts to this but before we go let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria 
Her son also reacted to this and said, But why did the federal government of Nigeria deceive us to believe that they are terrorists? What is your thought to this? We've just heard what Hassan have said that why did the federal government of Nigeria deceive Nigerians to believe that they are terrorists? Mind you, not all Nigerians believe that these people are terrorists. Like I've rightly said, IPOB and Eastern Security Network have denied all these allegations laid against them, talking about the killings and other, you know, activities, that is, other evil activities that has been, you know, flagged against them. And now, people are now blaming the Nigerian federal government, saying that why would you tarnish the good image of IPOB and Eastern Security Network? And make people believe that these people are terrorists even when you know these people are innocent. Now, it shows that people are in support of Chasoludo as a request for the, you know, working together of ESN and IPOP in order to secure the Southeast states. We would like you to let us know your thoughts on this. Fideli said, the federal government of Nigeria are fakes. They are the people who sponsored the terrorists. Ask me. Where are the people who shared AK-47 guns to the Fulani headsmen? Who are the unknown gunmen that is killing people? Where are the people who sponsored the Boko Haram and Aswab terrorists? The federal government of Nigeria keep all of them in secret, but the chase innocent people who are fighting for the rights of innocent Nigerians. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction? Today is that the Nigerian, you know, leaders, their hands are not clean when it comes to the issue of insecurity in Nigeria because they have made it a secret. People who are sponsoring, you know, terrorism in Nigeria, people who are behind all these attacks in Nigeria, they have put all this in secret. Recently, we had about some list of persons being released, and of course, it was not made you know obvious to nigerians such names the identity were not disclosed so everything is done in the secret and this has made nigerians believe that there is something fishy about this when it comes to insecurity we would like you to let us know your own reaction to this don't forget that work with me that is what charles Soldo have said as he begs ipop and esn he said work with me he begged ipop and esn and don't forget that abakiari extradition process is also ongoing we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this like to share your thoughts with us via the comment section thank you guys for listening subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on the other news bye for now